welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to show you this bracket that I 3D printed for the Gear 360 camera. Now, as you might remember, in a prior episode, I was uh, building this up with GoPro stuff. And this guy was getting pretty tall, and it's pretty heavy, and so I was afraid of it getting a little unwieldy. So what I did is I actually designed this up, um, and you can see how I designed it up. Actually, uh, it'll be out on my... Um, uh, 3dtech.com channel, DIY3dtech.com. Uh, but for this channel, you know, basically I just kind of want to show this. Now, I have this out on Thingiverse. So if you have or want to get a uh, Gear 360 camera, I'll have a link for it down below. Or basically any quarter 20 camera will work. It doesn't have to be the Gear 360. This will also work with my SJ cam. Is I'm using this nylon bolt. And uh, kind of long story short, is I'm going to slip the nylon bolt up into this cavity. So I've got it stuck up inside the cavity, and one of the things is I left a, a bit of meat in here because I wanted to, to make this more integral. Did I spit that out right? Integral? You guys, you guys got the idea. Anyways, uh, integral. Integral? Integral? I don't know. One and a half dozen of the other. So anyways, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this on here, and uh, I'm going to have to stick my finger in there to kind of put some tension on it to tighten it up and uh, there we go so actually I'm gonna kind of twist it around so it is a little bit tighter I'm not sure oh, now I powered it on I'm not sure which way is forward which way is backwards on this just yet but so there we have it and then what we're gonna do is we're simply going to pop this onto this these um, rubber mounts Now that I have all those uh, rubber balls pushed in there, what I want to do is uh, I want to take, I want to make sure that one gets all the way in there. Uh, what I typically like to do is take a small zip strip and just for safety, these are, these are kind of small, but this will still work, and put this through and just, uh, if I get my chippy little fingers in there, Now, you don't want to tighten this up to cinch this tight because obviously then that'll defeat the purpose of the balls. But what we want to do is create a little safety strap. And what I like doing is put, placing it so this nubbin or whatever you want to call this part of the zip strips at the top. And so what happens is if this does come off, it's still going to retain it to the copter or keep it in the air so it's not going to fall all the way off. So this is now what it looks like. So I've now got it elevated up there. Uh, it's not really too tall like before, so it's not much taller than if we take a look at the... Uh, the existing base as you can see you know where the other one had the screw and others so is about twice this height so I'm very interested to see how this actually works on the copter and, and everything else so anyways hopefully you found this interesting if you did hey give it a thumbs up I'll have this out on Thingiverse along with the links to this bracket and this camera this will basically work with any quarter 20 camera that you have um, and I'm using a nylon bolt to reduce the weight, so I'm not using a metal bolt in this. And so I'm really interested to get out and fly this, see how it handles. So hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, big thumbs up on this. Uh, don't forget to let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. And we'll see you in the next video, and we'll hopefully we'll go fly something. Woo! Cheers.